Hello students, I am Dr. Tanwar Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? By the way, student, I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't worry, after some time you'll get the right answer with explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now, what is the major product of this reaction? Here, if you look at this reaction, this acetylide NBS HBr. So what is this? This question is a little different from the basic concept point of view. First learn what NBS actually is. NBS full form is N-bromosuccinamide. So this is succinic acid amide where nitrogen is attached to bromine. And because of electronegativity difference, this bromine is delta plus and nitrogen is delta minus. Plus charge means you can say this bromine is electrophilic in nature. Point number one. So it can either produce, it can either react through electrophilic pathway, cation type, or under this reaction condition, 85 degree centigrade, it can produce radical also. But both will result same product. Now, here along with NBS, HBr is taken. We know HBr is a strong acid because it dissociates into H plus and Br minus, and this H plus can protonate this oxygen atom. And this protonation will enhance the electron deficiency of these oxygen as well as carbonyl carbon. And consequently, it can undergo enolization because we learned that enolization is catalyzed either by acid or by base. So here the medium is acidic. So this proton, this alpha proton more accurately could be removed and resulting in this enol. So enols are student actually nucleophilic because because of this conjugation. So you can say among these two lone pair, one will push and another will go and attack here. So it will come. So what is the consequence? Consequence, if I say, then one part will be this N minus. And this N minus is doubly stabilized by this resonance. So one side is this, another side is this. So two carbonyl groups helps to stabilize this N minus or nitrogen anion. And here, in this case, it is like alpha halo carbonyl preparation here, alpha bromo. By the way, I've already discussed many lectures in this. I shall provide some link in description box and I button, please check. So, obviously, this proton will be removed and ultimately it will produce alpha bromo acid chloride. And where the proton, this proton will go, obviously, these N minus will abstract this proton and yeast will produce succinamide. So this is the overall reaction this is. Now you may ask one question that sir, there was a bromine minus which can act as nucleophile. So why this bromine minus can't replace this Cl minus? I mean, why not this product? Means this is carboxylic acid bromide. Why not this product produce? Or from here along with the step by step, why not this one? This is because student, I guess you have seen acid chloride in many places like carboxylic acid if you treat it with thionyl chloride or phosphorus pentachloride result in acid chloride. But acid bromide have you seen? I guess no, I haven't seen. Why? Because this carbon belongs to second row, chlorine belongs to third row. So okay, second row, third row overlap, fine. Uh, second row, third row overlap still okay. Although this carbon protein bond is very weak, prone to breakage by any nucleophile, so that's fine. But here, if you look at bromine, bromine belongs to the fourth row. So overlap between the second row and fourth row is very less. So that's why this bond is far more weak. So a relatively stronger one cannot result in relatively weaker bond. So this is not possible. Now let's come to the another point that is radical. I mean, NBS in presence of thermal condition can be broken down and produce nitrogen radical plus bromine radical. And these bromine radical student can follow same pathway and result with react with this enol to produce this final product. Both are similar pathway, one I have discussed. I suggest you to try by yourself the second one. So in this way, what we'll get this alpha bromo derivative. By the way, since we cannot get this one, so there is no chance of this one. And the reaction proceeds through enol, so that's why this halogenation will happen on the alpha position only, no other place. Okay. And here, remember one statement 
these halogen have stronger minus i rather than plus r that's why acid chloride carbonyl carbon i mean here if you look at this acid chloride's carbon is always electron deficient or extremely electrophilic in nature and who is more stable between acid chloride and acid bromide as i told acid chloride is relatively more stable student i am comparing acid chloride itself is not a stable molecule but i'm com since i'm comparing acid chloride is relatively more stable than acid bromide so here what is the product obviously alpha position bromo acid chloride this is the answer as i told that this exchange not possible so option b gone option c gone and by the way i have not taken any chlorine electrophile ccl carbon tetrachloride where chlorine is delta negative because more electronegative compared to carbon so electrophilic chlorine no 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 it's not like that don't get uh, get confused it's not that kind of mechanism so this gone and it's a beta position not alpha so since enol was alpha so this is also not possible so this is the answer so two mechanism possible student one electrophile mediated i mean nbs or another radical mediated i have told both so this is the overall discussion i believe this video will be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye